Hey guys, welcome back to JR14 here. I am with another video for you guys today. And today we're at Fast Fist and we're racing the Mark 7. Now, the cool thing is, is that I've been waiting for this moment for a while, right? I've been waiting for this moment. Um, I've finally been able to get this thing out on track and see how she does. I wanted to film the intro before I went out on track, um, but I already finished my first session already. It didn't go that great. You know, the, the track is like 40 degrees. I like I, like the first session was like at around nine o'clock in the morning. It was like around 42 degrees. And unfortunately, um, the car spun out, um, spun the car out. I have six degrees of um, angle of attack on the wing. And unfortunately uh, there, you know, there's some issues. Well, there's, I mean, there's some issues with the tires. I'm gonna let a little air out of the back tire so I can get a better grip in the rear. But, um, but yeah, so hang on a second. I'll show you more of the car. So pretty much with the setup, like I said, 265 with tires all the way around, 10 by 18 by 10 and a half all the way around. Um, the back is a little light though. So what I wanna do is I wanna let some air out of the back tires before the next session. I think that'll give me a good edge. And also the tires are pretty cold. So um, actually went off track just a little bit, but ended up to be okay. Um, motor wise, everything is good. We just did regular maintenance and everything else and got everything situated there with the Rover motor oil and we just did the uh, maintenance on the motor aspect of it. Um, I'll talk, I'll do a walkthrough of what this motor has in it uh, in a later build. So on the front, I actually did the Porsche Macan brake. So now these are four piston, 345 millimeter rotor. Uh, we have a stop tech pad on it now. The pads aren't doing so bad. Um, I would prefer probably something like Hawk or EPC yellow stuff, you know, but I mean, they do, they did doing the job. I actually do really enjoy the fact that I have a better braking feel. Um, anyone that tells you different, it's totally worth it to do this. Um, uh, the Porsche Macan brakes. Now with these brakes, the only thing that you can do is you can only install these on a performance package GTI because of the knuckles. You can't install it on anything else. So you can't install it on a non-performance package GTI, but um, right now I gotta take off a couple things, the front plate, I gotta put my tow hook on, and then I gotta let somebody air out the back tire, which was the reason for my spin out, and also because it was cold, so I'm gonna let some of the air out the back tire, and we're gonna give her another try here in a little bit, so hopefully wish her the best.
That was better. Right. That was much better. Yeah, that. that was really good. I see you going down the straight when I was on the other side. I was like, all right, <laughs> you're still here. Let's go. <laughs> oh, let it cool down. Thank you. All right, guys. So finally doing the last session. That's the actual TCR race car out there on the track. Um, doing my last session today. I'm very, very happy with how the last session went. It's, it was absolutely fantastic. Like, the car felt good. Um, I had a little bit of EPC issues. Um, car went into limp mode. There's some stuff that just wasn't, it wasn't happy. So it threw itself into limp mode. I'm sure it has something to do with wastegate, the turbocharger. Wait, it just it's something to do with the turbocharger, but I know the turbocharger isn't blown or anything like that. You know, it's it's fine. And then it threw misfire codes, but again, like that's just a normal Volkswagen thing. I, I talked to a couple people here that said that already. So um, my boy Dimitri's up uh, in front of me and his boy with the S3 is behind me. So, and then Brian Furzone, he's also gonna be in here in a little bit. And yeah, we're just gonna have a, like, a really good, safe last session. And uh, you know, just keep the car on track and just really try to, uh, just really try to enjoy it for what it is.
right, guys, so we are done with the track day with the Mark 7. Impressions. The car did very well. As far as handling and getting around the course, it did extremely well once I was able to figure it out. The first session, trash. It was garbage. It was too cold. The, the tire, There was just not enough heat in the tires, and there was not enough heat on the track to hook up on certain corners. The thing about the second session was that it went very well. Uh, I was able to push the car harder and harder and harder and able to do what needed to be done in terms of going around corners and really trying to analyze the corners to see like what this car likes, what this doesn't like. Now, the good thing about the setup is that I'm able to push the car harder than most. The other issue um, that I come into play is the same issue that I was running into last year, which is I just keep getting a random EPC light, which obviously if you know EPC lights, EPC light throw the car into limp mode. The other thing that the car kept doing was throwing a check engine light. Sometimes it would have misfires. I have upgraded spark plugs, so I'm gonna go ahead and change those out. I'm even not, I don't think that's the issue though. I honestly truly think that the issue is something with the wastegate. Now, the wastegate um, was a used wastegate that was put on this turbo. So maybe the wastegate's going on, it's on its way out. I don't know, but um, that's something I'm gonna look into over the winter. It shouldn't be an expensive fix. I'm even looking into possibly switching tuning platforms altogether, maybe UM, maybe um, integrated engineering. So we'll see, I'm not too sure, but that's something I'm definitely interested in. Um, but I do wanna show you one thing that I am proud of, and it's this. Now, when it comes to one thing I'm extremely happy about with this car, the wing, which I set at six degrees, it did extremely well, but what I'm really happy with is these brakes. The Porsche Macan brakes, Porsche, excuse me, the Porsche Macan brakes did extremely well on track, no fade. Um, like, it just did very well. I'm very, very impressed on the braking feel of this car. Now, something I definitely do wanna change you guys, ask, a lot of people ask me, like, how does the feel happen? How does the feel, how was the feel when you changed the Porsche to Porsche Macan? Macan brakes calibers and for the brake booster that's something that you're just gonna have to um you can code in obd 11 you can code in obd 11 to figure everything out in terms of making or changing the feel of the pedal but as far as the bite of the pedal yeah i have to push a little bit further down um but it I, it wasn't that much of an issue for me all right guys well I finally got the GTI back home. She did great on the track. This is another day, but I just wanted to get, I never, I didn't have an outro to this video. So I wanted to go ahead and just say she's idling now, but absolutely fantastic on track. Like I said, we're gonna work out that wastegate issue. And but other than that, the car's fantastic. Um, I really love it. I really love the way the, with the, the wheel setup and the Porsche brakes, this car definitely is a huge improvement on track. And I'm very, very happy with how it responds on track. I'm happy with the TPC 20 Turbo, uh, and I'm happy with a lot of different things. I think there's still some things to dial in, but for the majority of the point, I think we're pretty much almost there. But you're gonna see more videos on this car. You're gonna see more content related to this car. We have not done the walkthrough of this car. Everything has been done since the wide body and the Aerofab track stuff, which I'm going to also talk about in a later video. But if you guys did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to JR14. You guys always remember where we take our cars on a beautiful track day after so many months of being in construction. You guys already know. You guys always remember that cars are a lifestyle.